Hi, this is Steve. I'm uh, giving you a quick tutorial on how to solder a C-clasp to a Holly retainer bow. This is the first demonstration model, so um, here we go. First of all, you're going to tack weld the C-clasp to the labial bow as follows with a tack welder. I like to give it two or three shots just to make sure that it's very tack weld in place. Next we're going to put some heat shield on and some flux and we're going to bring in some medium heat with a blazer torch. I do use a hydroflux and, and I'll show you some other videos but right now I'm just using a blazer torch. I personally like a thicker solder because I just feel like it the solder joint goes faster. Some people use really, really thin solder, but I prefer thicker. Once the solder joint flows, you evenly can manipulate the solder. After the solder joint's going to cool, you take it off the model and bring it over to the trimming station where I use an E cutter. I like to some people go at it pretty aggressive, but it's very, um, you're kind of feathering the, feathering the metal rather than trimming it. This gives it a, a s nice polishing finish, so it's ready to pumice and polish. After I go in and out of each joint, removing any of the flux, removing any, smoothing out the joint, I like to round off the C-class so they don't poke the child in the mouth and remove some of the excess weight from the solder from the inside of the retainer. I'll then switch up the, um, the burr in a second and use more of a tapering burr just to do some tighter finishing. See that in a second. After this step I'm going to pumice and polish the solder joints and there that'll give it a nice polished look at the end. These are just steps that I'm just going over each solder joint making sure that there's no bumps or something that's going to poke the child in the mouth when they're wearing a retainer. There's the tapering burr. It's another type of e-cutter that's to use. I'm going to make some more videos that I'll show you. Um, materials that I use, types of burrs, who, um, companies that I buy them for that I've had great luck, great success with. And um, yeah, you'll see that not every burr is e equal. Sometimes you gotta learn that the, the hard way or the expensive way. But anyway, I'm just about done. I'm gonna polish this up, pumice and polish it, and then you get the final result in a second. At this point, I think I actually turned on my high speed lathe, which is definitely a no no in the business. Shall they poke an eye out or do something terrible? Always pumice and polish on low speed um, for almost all orthodontic appliances. Um, it's much safer and you'll find out you get a better result pumicing and polishing anyway. Um, in the near future I'm going to be making some new videos. So appreciate some advice. This is actually my first video. I hope it's my probably my worst. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Um, please give me some advice, some feedback. Um, leave a comment um, if you're interested in different videos on orthodontic, whatever, whatever it has to do with orthodontics, um, you can leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Um, I hope uh, that you'd subs subscribe so then that way I can make some more videos if, if there's an interest for it. Thanks a lot for, for watching. Bye.